Good morning everyone. It is Thursday. It is question Thursday and thanks to Jill I actually have some questions to answer. So apparently both my Twitter and my Tumblr friends don't like to ask questions. I don't know. They didn't. Luckily Jill came through and provided me with a very nice list of questions that I will answer for you now. What's your favorite thing to bake? I really like making fancy cakes. Even though fancy for me is something completely different as fancy for other people, but that's besides the point. I like making fancy cakes and chocolate chip cookies because I like eating both of those things. Do you have a current creative project? I do. And I have had it since about February, I think. I, I, I wanted to give it to the person that it should go to in February and um, it is still here. It's a scarf for my friend and it's just, it's just not long enough to be a scarf yet, so... I'm gonna have to keep working on that for a little bit longer. The one thing you want to cook and master. Well, actually it's not cook, it's bake. I wanna make macaron, like the French la durée, small little bites of heaven. I just tried them for the first time in Paris and I don't wanna eat anything else ever again. It is so good. So that's my next project to try out to make these things because I can't, they don't have a shop here. I can't buy them here and so I'm gonna make them. Where do you wanna travel the most? Everywhere. I've talked about it before, how, where I have traveled so far. Just outside of that area, I would really like to go to Japan and to India and to Russia. I wanna see more of the US and Canada and South America and there's still a lot of Europe that I haven't seen that I would like to see. So everywhere in essence. But right now the most I wanna travel to Scotland, which is what I'm gonna do at the end of August. So yay. If I came to Germany, can we hold hands and frolic? Yes, of course we can. Come to Germany and let's frolic. Am I the only Jew you know? I think so. The thing is, there are two factors in this. One is that I grew up in a very rural area where everybody is Catholic, except for me. And um, the Jewish population in Germany is very small. It is growing, I read up on that, it is growing, but it is growing in the big cities. In Berlin, predominantly, and I don't live in Berlin, I live at the exact opposite end of the country. So, I think so. Unless any, every, anybody's been hiding something from me, I mean, a friend of mine just got Catholic overnight. Maybe well, there are some converts. What thing do you like to say in German to confuse your American friends the most? I can't think of anything here. So what I did was I went and made a list of all the words that my English teachers warned me about that are very similar in German and in English, which is, um, they are used in German and they are used in English, but they mean two completely different things. And sometimes I confuse them or I get confused when I try to use one and it clicks in my head and I realize that the word I'm going to say means something different in English and I have to think of the, uh, of the right word. And that is surprisingly hard. Well, the thing is, our English teachers warn us about these words, so we are aware and try not to, but what I have seen very often is, not me personally, but other people I know to use become, as in get something. Can I become a sandwich? Which, if you use become as a German word, would mean could I get a sandwich, but I don't want to become a sandwich. Another one is, there's a story about my Great grandma, I think, when she traveled to the, to the US and they took a tour with a bus somewhere, I don't know where. And um, the tour guide or the people on the bus started screaming, oh, there's an eagle, an eagle, an eagle. And everybody looked up except for my great grandma who looked down and looked for a hedgehog, which is eagle in German. I hope she also saw the eagle. The word pathetic. If used in German means dram dramatisch, dramatic and emotional, not what it means in English. The word handy is used for these things. This is a handy in German. And gift in German is poison. That's confusing. Last word, the school that I went to, my high school, the kind of school that I went to in German is referred to as a gymnasium. I mean, that's not as weird as the literal Greek translation, which would be a place to be naked, because I like not to be naked in school. Explain that to your American exchange partner. Well, this is our gymnasium. Let's go and have some English lessons. That's weird. That's it from me. My mom's gonna come to visit now, and uh, I'll see Amy tomorrow.